Hello guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Deacon, aka Adikoko, aka Queen of DIYs. Please subscribe if you are new. Um, click on the notification bell so you get notified every single time that I post a video. So in today's video, we are going to be making this DIY acne face toner. Um, this is one toner that I would run to if my skin is acting crazy. This toner is filled with potent ingredients, not a lot of ingredients, but definitely the necessary ones to help you combat and fight acne and pimples. So yeah, let's get into making this toner. But before then, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, thumbs up this video to let YouTube know that you like my content. Drop a comment down below. Just do something sweet to this video. And yeah, let's get right into making this toner. <laughs> So going over the list of ingredients we need for this formula, we definitely need our star ingredients which is green tea. Green tea is one ingredient that I love, one of my favorite things to put on my skin. It is a very powerful antioxidant that helps to protect the skin from sun damage. It prevents skin cancer, smooths wrinkles, fights acne, balances oily skin, suits inflammation, reduces dark circle and tones the skin. So yeah, it is a very good ingredient for oily or combination skin, hence why we have it in this formula. Similar. So next ingredient that we need is our rosemary. Rosemary helps to reduce cellulite, reduce saggy skin, reduces redness and puffiness, treats skin infection, reduces acne and is a natural cleanser for the skin. The next ingredient we'll also use is our matcha powder which helps to quench inflammation, combat stress and prevent premature aging, helps to promote a clear and even complexion, protects against um, pollution and sun damage as well and can help to fight hormonal acne. The next ingredient we'll be using is our aloe vera and here I'm using a store bought aloe vera. Aloe vera is a very powerful ingredient that helps to soothe the skin, it keeps the skin hydrated, it's a good moisturizer, um, it doesn't let the skin feel oily, it soothes inflammation, it helps to the skin to recover rapidly and naturally, it um, nourishes the skin, it regenerates new skin tissues and the list goes on. So the next ingredient we'd use is our Melissa essential oil which is gotten from the Melissa herb that helps to soothe and pamper the skin. So now that we have our ingredients measured out, um, definitely check the description bar for the measurements that I use in this recipe. Don't forget that you can always customize your own measurements according to what I use to make the size that you want if you want more or less. So yeah, check the description bar for that information. So now let's get to work. In a small bowl, I am going to add my green tea um, leaves. So it's just... Um, turning my green tea into a bowl, turning my rosemary into a bowl as well, and then adding my matcha powder into the same bowl. Now I am just going to add a little bit of water just to extract the properties from this um, concoction. Um, it is important that the water that you add to this should be Hot, not boiling hot but definitely hot enough to extract the properties so I'm going to let that sit for a while I'm going to cover up for maybe 10 to 15 minutes to let that extract properly so after extracting for a little while letting that sit I'm just going to go in with a spatula to stir properly After this, I am going to be straining um, the water of the particles, if you get what I mean. <laughs> so I'm trying to just get the juice out. Or in this case, the tea. <laughs> I'm trying to get the tea separated from the um, ingredients, that's the herb. So as you can see, we got a reasonable amount of extract. Now I am going to divide that into two because this is a very strong um, extract we have here. The mixture is very strong. So I'm going to divide it into two then and I'm going to add more water to dilute one part of it. 
now I am going to go in with my aloe vera gel this is a store bought aloe vera gel like I earlier mentioned and hence why it has that color green I think they added some colorant to it to just make it look aesthetically pleasing so yeah now I'm just going in with a stirring wand and I'm just stirring my mixture up properly it is important to stir the um, aloe vera gel to mix properly because it can just be like chunks of aloe vera inside the mixture and that is what you don't want you want everything to mix properly so after mixing I'm going to go in with my Melissa oil and here I am just going to be adding just three drops I'm not adding too much this is a very strong oil so please do not add too much and then I'm going back in with my wand and I'm stirring very well so this is the part that I didn't mention this is totally optional I'm going to be adding a few drops of rosemary oil also very little I added about three drops but things went a little bit south but yeah it is a very strong oil as well and can irritate your skin so you just want to make sure that you add just three drops to this so I'm going back in with my wand and I'm stirring properly so now with my storage container I am going to be transferring my mixture into it um, I did not add preservative if you want to add it's totally optional this can last you a good two weeks like this uh, mixture right now can last you a good two weeks before it goes bad but if you want to um, have this for sale or something definitely make sure that you add your preservative to it or if you want to have it for longer definitely add preservative so whatever your measurement is you're going to add one percent of preservative into the mixture and mix properly here we are we have our rosemary um green tea rosemary matcha powder acne um toner face toner this toner is rich in ingredients that would help to soothe the skin inflamed skin red skin um pimples and acne it has the ingredients that would fight all of this so yeah um it's an excellent um anti-inflammatory um toner that would suit your skin reduce puffiness um, it would also help to fight skin infection caused by bacteria and fungus um, can directly be applied to the skin that is why we diluted it um, it will help to break down like oils on the skin it will help to fight oily skin as well so this toner is probably suitable for people with oily or combination skin if you have dry skin please try to avoid this because this oil will um this toner will strip your skin a little bit so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to drop a comment down below like this video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and yeah i would see you guys in my next one and as usual i wish you a perfect and glowy skin